Hey guys, what's up? Making Alfredo sauce from scratch. My broski's helping me cut the chicken. We're gonna make chicken Alfredo for the fam. And uh, been experimenting with this recipe for a while. It's out of this really awesome book, the complete book of pasta. And um, it's pretty sweet. I haven't really experimented with it. Hey, you're not getting chicken. Don't mind me, that's my dog. So, I need to find some butter. I'm probably gonna double the recipe because of doubling the people. So I need half a cup of butter. Oh, you said that there's butter up here? Yeah, it's in the okay. that box. So, I need half a cup of butter. Half a cup of butter, melt that down. So I'm going to melt down the butter. I'm doubling the recipe. So normally it calls for a fourth of a cup of butter. And so, but since I'm doubling the recipe, that means I need a half a cup of butter. Stop it. This is real butter too, so it's going to taste really good. And you need to have one cup of heavy cream normally. So if I'm doubling, that's two cups of heavy cream. Paul, above you, can you get the measuring cup up there? This one? Yeah. So I need two cups of uh, cream for this after I get this butter melted down. And after I got the cup of, or two cups of cream, you need two thirds cups of freshly grated um, Parmesan cheese. Now, I would love to just have the block of cheese and cut it myself, but I'm improvising with some craft cheese. Now you can do anything you want with this chicken alfredo. It's a pretty simple dish. You can add anything to it, but we're going to dice some chicken and um, cook it up and mix it in with our other stuff. But this recipe for the alfredo sauce I picked up from this book is pretty sick. But that's enough about cooking right now because i got to wait for the butter to melt. Um, my buddy, my brother Paul and I, we fixed my fence today, and um, we took family pictures. What else did we do? Say hi, Heather. Hi. This is, hi, this is Heather. Heather. She's my brother's um, wife. We went to Home Depot, Safeway. Yeah, we went to Home Depot and Safeway. What else did we do? Oh, dude, we fixed your door. Oh, yeah, we fixed my sliding glass door, and, oh, you got to check this door out. Oh, the butter's still melting. Before, it was just a total chump job. Like, you couldn't even do anything. Oh, the rollers were broke. Oh, now it's locked. So the rollers were broke, and now look how easy it slides. Oh, man. It's as smooth as butter. Man, it's great. So, yeah, we're just hanging out doing this stuff for dinner. Paul and Heather leave tomorrow, which... I'm really sad because they're only here for like three or four days, but that's better than nothing because gotta work, gotta, work, gotta make that paper. It's and chicken, that um, I think that's gonna be plenty of chicken. So it is what it is. You know, I gotta make that paper. Um, let me turn this saute pan on. Hold on. I'll do it here okay, well this butter still got to cook down. So we also went to Harbor Freight and we bought a reciprocating saw and it's pretty sick. Um, what else do I need? Oh, I need one of these big spoons for the pasta. Paul, say something to the block. The block. Uh, it's cutting up some chicken. It's got a ton of Whoa. fat on it, so... Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah. Fat's good, though. Uh, not chicken, but... 
Why not? I don't know. Do you like oh, 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 oh. Yeah, chicken? It's pretty chewy. No, I don't like chicken fat. Oh, oh, oh. What do you guys like? Do you leave it down below if you like chicken fat? Oh, oh. I gotta go check on Jen to see if she's okay. Um, just mess you around on the vlog. Mess around on it? Here. I don't care. I'm just gonna point at you for right now. Alright, well, they're gonna watch me cut some chicken so you can add in some music. Oh, adding music. Chicken. Chicken cutting music. Matt and Jen are going to get a new knife set for uh, Christmas or something, because this is what I'm cutting chicken with, and it's not, not sharp, as you can tell. Luna, come on. Now I'm just going to like cube up this chicken. Saute it with a little bit of vegetable oil. Oh, oh, oh. It's easy. They're pretty good. melted. Let's add the cream. How long does that stuff can take? Um, after it's done cooking, it, you just leave it on a wall. Let it simmer. Inside. Yeah. Ben's having another contraction. So my wife is having another contraction right now, and she had one about 10 minutes ago. Um, I don't know. You can. So I'm a little worried right now. No, that needs to stay on there. Unless you can put it on this one. No, it needs to have even heat. That's for the pasta. You got a flat one for the uh, oh. chicken? Yeah. And like this? Like uh, this or this? this? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to be cooking over here now. Just trying to get. Okay, so two thirds cups freshly grated cheese. So I need to bring that. and melt butter add cream to bring it to a boil and add in the cheese and let's see that's a half and that's a half that's two thirds what <laughs> You got too much, didn't you? Yeah. We'll see if it works. Holy shoot, Paul. Oh. You got way too much. Let me that spoon right here. Oh, damn, that's a lot of oil. No, it'll, it'll all drain oh. off. Dude. Okay. I just don't okay. want to stick into your pan. Alright. Alright, we're in cooking mode, so it's probably going to be lots of music. Don't get that in the sauce. Oh, get in your... I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Come on. Why not? Yeah. Paul's afraid to say his normal jokes. So, I would say he's a little girl for not wanting to say his jokes. Yeah. Because they're, they're too good for the internet. Well, he says that Paul's a lot of talk, and right now he's a little shy, so he's not going to talk to talk. 
Um, so we got to bring this thing to a boil and then we can add the Parmesan cheese. Um, but we got a sweet ass re reciprocating sauce from Harbor Freight. What else do we do? Went to Home Depot and got some gloves and WD-40 WD and the part to fix my sliding glass door. And then we went to Safeway and got all the food for tonight's dinner. And um, then we got to work this afternoon. It's too dark to show you how cool the fence looks. But basically what happened was I made the fence like too tall for um I made the fence top rail too tall and when I hung the fence on it there was a big gap between the ground and the fence so Paul and I took the reciprocating saw and cut off all the tops of the rails and lowered it down pretty much and so now the fence sits pretty well I need to go figure that out yeah I'm gonna have a beer can I do that on the vlog? That's not good. Open it. Um, it's right here. So my dad made us these cool, um, cool openers. Uh, my brother's got one too at his house in Oregon, but it's a cedar branch, and he uh, what do you do? Carve oh, it down? It's a redwood. This isn't a redwood yeah, tree branch. No, it's, it's not. I swear to you, it is. He said it was a cedar branch. Well, then you got the short end of the stick because I got a redwood branch. Are you serious? Yeah. You joke. Anyways, it's a branch of some tree. He <laughs> carved it down. And sanded it off, and then he put this little uh, I didn't know copper piping. Came from trees. Screw you! <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> so they uh, put this copper piping on it, and nailed it down, and bent off a half a nail, and you just pop it open like that. So it's a pretty cool bottle opener. Um, oh shoot! What did you do? I just like smacked it off, and this is ready to add the stuff. Okay, Parmesan cheese ready to go in. And this sauce, after this, you pretty much just add salt and pepper to the taste. And of course you add more Parmesan cheese to your pasta when you are ready for it so I'm hoping that this is going to be plenty and so you pretty much just let it boil down and melt down and then I'm going to put it on simmer on low and uh, just kind of let it melt off a little bit, melt that cheese. And then when the pasta is done, I'm going to drain that dude. And I'm going to pour all of that back, all that sauce in there. We're going to mix the chicken up in there. And uh, we're going to have a lot of nice yummy food tonight. And it's going to be really delicious. But we don't have to go oh shoot, we should have thought about that. Yeah. Someone wasn't thinking when we were at the store. Probably not. We were worried about some other things, you know. So, the sauce is pretty much done. It's very simple sauce. Um, I'm just going to keep the Parmesan cheese on the side for tasting. Oh, uh, you only used one one of the chicken breasts? I used one used from the other night that needed to get eaten. And oh. then one of ours and a half. So. Okay. You have that other half. 
to use up this week. Yeah. Okay. Let's give a couple more minutes to paste it up. Yeah, well, let's just kind of use those. You don't have a lid, do you? Mm, for the pan? This, this pan. Yeah. Down here? Um, this one might be working out for that. No. Yeah, it'll work. Okay. Yeah, improvise. So that's pretty much the sauce. Close it up. Um, this book also has um, ways to make your own pasta. It tells you a little bit about history and what you need to make your own. Yeah, it's supposed to do that. Um, I eventually want to make my own. See, like this page right here, this is how you would make your own pasta. And I eventually want to try to do that, but got to have time to do that. Time is something you don't have. Time is something I do not have a lot of. You are right, Paul. You are right. The recipe says to keep it under heat, like low. Well, that's not low. Well, I turned it to low, so what do you, you want turn it to the do? the front to low, James. <laughs> I guess I need to look at my own stove here. That's why it's, it's boiling there. Luna, get off. She just wants some chicken, man. Well, she's not going to get any. And the fact that you left that in the sink, that's got a lot of fat on there. Are you cleaning it up there? Yeah. Make sure you stir that while I throw the garbage away. Yeah, why don't you throw that other one away? Hold on. Don't throw it away yet, dude, because I gotta. Well, we all have to go back to work tomorrow. Except for me. Except for Paul and Heather, but. Um, we go back Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, and Paul's a paramedic, and he's got to go back to work. And tomorrow is going to be the start of another long week. Um, we got two weeks left in school, so. Tomorrow's going to be a day where I'm going to teach system of equations to my students. And then I'm going to also talk to them a lot about grades. And this is the final push. They need to start thinking about how they're going to pass the class and what they need. And I'm really going to see the separation between the people who are going to try and the people who are just going to give up and fail. And it's always sad to watch this kind of time of year. Oh, dude, this stuff's bubbling, Paul. How do you say the oil is going to cook off? Drain it off there, buddy. Oh. Is that how you get it soft? Okay. Huh. Well, you learn something new every day. So, I'm going to put this stuff away. This pasta's got a long way to go. We can move it to this bigger one. That would be nice. Okay. No, this is pretty much good. So, anyways, I'm going to bring the vlog to a close. You guys all have a great day, and uh, we'll see you all later. Peace out. Anyone say peace out? Peace out. Peace out, Paul. Peace out, Paul.